YouTube, this is No Remorse, and today I am going to be showing you guys how to do a resupply missions for your bunkers on GTA 5. Alright, let's get into this video real quick. Now, I already did a couple of cell missions uh, to try it out, see what happens. And you're supposed to sell these around 100,000 to 150,000 uh, stock level. Anything higher than that, you're going to be using two vehicles. Uh, after that, I just decided to do another bit of research, get all the research out of the way, all the unlocks, and then I'll start resupplying to sell. But for now, all I'm going to be doing is research resupplying. If we can wait for the loading screen to load up, here it is. Your lab team's crying out to break down a tank for parts, say. so you're going to deliver for them. Make the collect and make the Ready drop, go. and fill in all the details in between. Look at that kill feed on the side. This lobby was packed at the beginning. A couple vehicles right here. They ain't mine. Alright, somebody else's. Somebody else owns this bunker where I'm at. Here's my ride. Check it out. There it is. my crew colors I got a crew emblem that I downloaded and applied it Decepticons I actually have this logo on my own personal car at home so I said why not let's put it on GTA vehicles now these resupply missions uh, most of them are pretty close some are pretty far uh, Agent 14 usually provides a vehicle for you to use. I don't use a vehicle. I just call in a buzzard. The easiest way you can get these done is with the buzzard. Now if you want to have a friend with you to do these res resupply missions, then go ahead and use the vehicles that they uh, provide for you. You have one guy driving and one guy on the, on the mounted uh, gun or turret on the back. And you guys can have fun. Go to town, tear everything up. For me, I'm doing this solo. Just call in your buzzard and get it done. Now this mission is not that far from here. We're here at Fort San Cudo. The pretty cool thing about this is when you guys are doing resupply missions, if you go over the military base. You guys don't set off your stars and you won't have nobody pursuing you so if you guys want to get in on the base and steal a jet or a tank while you guys are doing this uh, you can get in there pretty easy once you steal it it's, that's a different story but getting in you guys shouldn't have any problem I think the um, Rockstar did that to help you guys out or help us out as we do these resupply missions everything so close to these air bases that's what I'm thinking so that's what it is now we gotta get over here to the marker on the floor in the middle of the street right here there it is now if I want I can go fly in there I've already done this mission once not that hard. So I decided just not to go in there and park this chopper because you can't jump over this fence right here. It's pretty high, so I might as well just come back, hoof it, go on foot, go commando, go to town on these people. Land this chopper right here. There we go. As you can see, soldier ain't gonna mess with you. I'm already trespassing. You ain't gotta worry about anything. Just get your butt up there and steal that tank. Now this mission is pretty easy. There's a couple more missions similar to this where you have to steal a tank. 
different parts of the map. This is the closest one to the bunker that I have. There's other ones that are almost seven miles away. It takes forever. And you got cars, you got cops, you got military, everybody ramming your tank. And if you're not hitting your, your targets, they're gonna blow you up and you'll never make it to your bunker. This one's pretty cool, it's pretty close. I don't have to worry that much. And if you come over here, I guess it is real easy. Not that hard. You got about 10 soldiers you gotta kill, that's it. There's a tank. Now I tried to see how close I can get before I set them off. Alright, about here, see, there it goes. That's as close as you can get without them detecting you. And you guys are pretty easy to take out. You ain't gotta worry about it. Now, I didn't have the flame rounds on this gun. I have some other guns, but I forgot to uh, restock. Standard ammo on these soldiers. See how easy that was? Take him out, in your tank, and take off. Take that one guy out, blow him away. This other one, got stuck. Alright, let's go. And all you have to do is just hit your targets, just don't let them get too close. And if they're too close to you, do not shoot them. The splash damage from your cannon will hurt you and you will blow up your tank and you're gonna end the mission. This is the easiest way that I've found out to do it. Do not take the street. Do not go around the lake. The place forever. The easiest way is to go up against the mountain. Right here. To the left. Follow the fence next to the base. And it's the easiest way. You're not going to hit any vehicles or any army. Maybe a couple of jeeps. But that's it. Now for some reason people are leaving my lobby. Check that out. Everybody's just leaving, leaving, leaving. I don't know what's going on. But that just helps me out. Nobody's gonna mess with me. The less people in the lobby, the better for me. Follow the path against the mountain right here. Okay, shoot these guys. Not that hard, steal a tank, and you're good to go. 
As long as you ain't got no other players in the lobby that sticking bombs at you or RPG, you should be good. And all you have to do is just hit all the patrol vehicles, blow them out the way before they get close to you. And once they get close to you, they ram you, and you'll take damage too. Blow them out the way, do not shoot them when they're close to you. And you should be okay. Avoid hitting all these vehicles, just take damage from that too. The less you ramp cars, and the less splash damage you get from your cannon, you should be okay. The first time I did this mission, I blew myself up. For the first three minutes, I had so many cops attacking me, I was shooting everywhere, I wasn't paying attention, and for some reason I shot before and I blew myself up. Nice work. Your technicians are already breaking that down. All your secrets, if you really look at yourself, you will be speechless. What happened to being doctors and teachers? What happened to being your brother's keeper? Nowadays, kids more work.